Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I'm going to show you the jer jer jerky music video effect. This is so easy to do. You're going to love it. Let me show you what we're going to create and then we'll break it apart. Sure is no. So the first thing to do is to protect your audio track because we're going to be cutting up the video track. And when you drag in an audio track, um, you can see on the left hand side, there is a little toggle track lock button. If you don't do this and you're doing this, if you're doing this for music, then you never want the music to be cut because that's the tempo of the song. That's the original song. The picture can be cut on top of that. So if you protect that, then it won't move. If you don't, if you don't mind the audio, the audio being cut up, then just um, cut it up with the video. So let me drag in this clip. And by the way, this clip came from Adobe Stock, the number one provider for stock video, images, motion graphics, templates, illustrations, 3D objects, find the perfect asset for your next creative project. And all the music is coming from my wonderful friends over at Artlist. Okay, so let's have a look at this clip here. I just dragged it into the timeline and I'm trying to find a spot where I get lots of motion, like right there, right there. That's when the, um, what is that? A, is that a cat or a different kind of bear? I don't know. Anyway, so that is the beginning of the motion. So I'll always go right to the beginning right here. And I need to cut this. So you can hold the control key on Windows command on Mac, hit uh, control or command K, or you can get the razor blade and you can cut that point. So right now I I only have a cut. There's no change at all. You want to cut a three to four frame segment. Very, very short. If you hit the right arrow, if you don't have anything selected, hit the right arrow, one, two, three, and I'll go four. So now I've moved my playhead four, and I can, I, again, use the uh, razor blade or the command key and cut again. So if we play this back, I'll go back to the move tool. If we play this back, we don't see any difference, and that's because it's just playing back. Let me just open that up a little bit. Okay, so what we need to do is to take this clip, copy it, and paste insert this multiple times. And paste insert will paste it in and it will move everything down on the timeline. Um, if you need the result of the jerky video to pick up where the music left off, I'll show you that in, in, in a second. That's That requires one more step, but this one is pretty easy. So this is my clip here. If I hit the up and down arrow, it will jump me to the edit point. So that's three to four frame segment. I'll copy that. And in the edit menu, edit menu, paste insert on Windows, it's control shift V on the Mac, it's command shift V. And you'll see it popped it in, moved the playhead down and moved all of the video down. And it's still in the clipboard. So you can uh, now copy and paste insert multiple times. So control shift V, 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 V. So now I've just done that. Let me zoom out and hit play. And there we go. Once you come out of those frames, because paste insert has extended the clip, you're now a little bit further on while well, you're here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So did I do three or four? I think I did four. So that's 28 frames out of sync with the rest of the video. And in music videos, a lot of times you'll see this jerky effect and then you'll cut to a different time, especially if, it, if it's the person singing. Um, but now this is out of sync because the end of this right here and the beginning of this are the correct frames. All the rest of this middle part was added to it. So if you need this to actually uh, sync up, then we need to move all of this up. So I just selected it, held the option key on Mac, Alt on Windows and hit the up arrow. And 
Remember, this is all in sync. So if I go to the end of this clip and move this back, that's now in sync. We don't see it because the clips on top are covering it. So now we do that and then we jump ahead. which doesn't look bad in this case. But those are the two ways to do this, one to stay in sync and one to not stay in sync. Now, what you can also do is you could throw different looks on here. So I'm gonna go up to the color section. Here's the color workspace. And in the creative section, there's looks here and I have a whole tutorial on working with looks and lots, you can get thousands of them uh, out there, tons of them for free and they have a different look to them. And I can just scroll through and I'll double click on that. So now I've got that and then I've got a completely different look. I'll go back over to this one and let's try something. How about, oh, I guess that's kind of the same. Maybe I've got some black and white ones here. Double click. I know I've got some really different ones there. So now when we play this back, we'll jump and we'll change the look. Now, one added thing that I did put on here is just to scale this frame. So after I finish cutting the video, this frame here, if we look at the effects controls, twirl down motion and scale, you can see I've just added a scale effect. So it starts here at 71.4, then it jumps to uh, zero, jumps to 174, and then back to 100%. So it looks like this. And do that right on the cut. There's another thing we could do is during those segments, right now it's the same segment and the same segment. You could actually reverse the video. So when you hit the jerky part, it's actually the reverse. And to do that, if you, and sometimes you have to get zoomed in a little bit, I'll right click on the clip and go to speed duration, you can just reverse the speed and I'll just do it to this one. So you can see this one is now the opposite. And I'll show you what I did over on this section here. So here's a different music track and I've got four jerky video effects that are all reversed. and you can select all of those, go to speed and reverse all of them at the same time. And now they're all reversed. So there you go. There's your jerky music video effect. Protect your audio track and start chopping your video up into multiple spots and make it jerk around and reverse and change color and do all of those crazy things. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found things like this informative, take a moment and subscribe. We really do appreciate it. And if you want to support us more, you can do that through PayPal. There's a link in the description and one on the front of the channel where you can now support us as an extra member on VideoRevealed.com. We really do appreciate all of our wonderful PayPal supporters. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to find the easiest, coolest ways to make your videos look amazing.